What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I haven't done one in quite a while. I apologize for that. It's been super crazy busy. My intention when I started this whole vlog thing was to do it every week. Hence why it was called the weekly dump. I think I'm moving away from that because it just it's just not gonna happen um, unless you guys really wanted it to let me know in the comments below on that now with all that said uh, this week this episode like the title says is gonna be all about uh, teaching your kids stuff teaching them young and things like that I'm a huge huge like hardcore like one of my biggest things is like teaching your kids things like everything all kinds of things let them taste it all um, expose them to a lot of different things so that they can figure out what they're interested in, what they're into, what they want to dive deeper into, what they don't like so you can avoid it. Like, I don't know, all kinds of things. There's so many benefits to it. I, I see so many parents keeping their kids inside of a box and um, I just, I, I'm not that way. I, I don't agree with it. I didn't grow up that way. I tried everything. My parents supported me 110% behind everything I ever wanted to do which led to all kinds of great things, and I'm super, super um, appreciative of that. So um, I'll keep the yapping to a minimum, and uh, without further ado, we're gonna head into the shop. We're, working, we're gonna work on my truck. I'm gonna teach Cameron how to uh, change the brakes. Uh, so here we go. And here's the thing about teaching your kids stuff. Uh, everybody has to be in the right mood for it. They have to be in the right, you have to be in the right state of mind to, to be patient enough to teach your kids things because let's be honest, we all know how frustrating it is when you're in the middle of doing something and they wanna help you do it, but it's something you're trying to get done like right now and then you're like, just let me finish it, just let me do it, let me do it. Um, so that's like a different mindset versus, hey, on Saturday I've gotta do this and instead of just doing it, I'm gonna show my kid how to do it. So whether that's, like me, fixing my truck, or if it's landscaping, or if it's cooking, or if it's golfing, or whatever the heck it is, and you prepare yourself for that, you prepare your kid for that, and say, hey, on Saturday we're gonna learn how to do this, and get them excited about it so they're in the right mindset of learning things, and you're not forcing them to do something that they're not really, um, like, really prepared to do or into doing, um, versus, like, on the spot, um, like, hey, let's do this, and they're like, they wanted to do something else at that moment. So kind of preparing yourself, preparing them, making sure that everybody's in the right mindset to do some of that learning, making sure they're excited about it, stuff like that. Okay, that's a good place to take a break. We're gonna go eat some lunch, but we're gonna take the blue truck because we're not done with this. So um, we'll eat some lunch and uh, I'll talk about a few other things. When they get a little, when they start getting a little bit older, you know, three and four, not so much. They're they're they consume a lot of stuff and they learn and they're picking up on things all the time. Yes, definitely. But I've noticed them with my experiences when they get in that five, especially six years old and seven and plus, like they're eager to learn new stuff all the time and the excitement about it is awesome. Um, so it makes it really fun and uh, you know to teach them new things on top of. Man, when they get something down and learn it, it's some it's some really proud parenting moments and you're like, holy crap, my six-year-old knows how to do this. Like that's crazy. Guys, I don't mean teach them all of your hobbies and and all the things that you're into. Well, that's good, but you know, be sure to, to maybe find a balance between teaching them fun, and cool stuff and things that they might find a career in, but also teaching them skills, teaching them 
you know, uh, what to do in case of an emergency. Do they know your address and phone number? Do they know how to get into your phone that has a passcode on it and call 911? Do they know how to hit the emergency button to call 911? Do they know what to do in the, the emergencies? So take some days, take a Saturday here and there to teach them like emergency skills and things like that too. Again, guys, they are super eager to learn. They love to learn. And if you reward them for that learning and that good behavior and, and picking up on things, man, is it powerful. Guys, that's it this week. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of. I know that I've been kind of all over the place with these videos. Uh, in the past, I want to make it more focused um, on certain things and topics. So let me know if you have a topic in mind that you want to know about or, or some insight on something or whatever. Um, I've got a vlog that's more of a personal vlog that talks about all the business stuff and other things that we're into. Uh, if you want to follow that, um, and I'll leave links to that stuff down below, things like that. So anyways, Happy New Year. I hope 2018 is super awesome for you. Like, subscribe, share, all the things. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave your comments. Peace. <laughs> I think Cameron needs her own YouTube channel. What do you think? <laughs>